Africa and Rwanda in particular is the right place for us to meet and have this discussion. Africa is now the biggest UN troop contributor, but this is nothing to boast about, given that 80% of the world's peacekeepers are also deployed on the continent. So when we talk about the future of peace support operations, we are essentially talking about Africa. As for Rwanda, the international community's decision to walk away from a genocide in progress in 1994 was not only a disgrace, but a disaster that had to be reckoned with. The new norm of a responsibility to protect is the outcome of this soul searching, putting civilians at the top of the agenda where they belong. This is also the right time for this discussion because we are not there yet in terms of implementation and effectiveness. Deployment is too slow. Vague mandates and unclear rules of engagement many times inhibit decisive action to protect civilians. The capabilities of regional organizations need to be further enhanced. The high-level summit that I had uh, the opportunity to co-chair together with other leaders at the United Nations last September focused attention on these and other important issues. The follow-up summit later this year is an opportunity to see how we can continue to improve and also to put solutions into place. The recommendations of the high-level international panel on peace support operations will be of critical importance to these efforts and Rwanda extends its full support to the panel's mission.